Have you ever heard of vacuum coffee makers? Whether you're new to the world of siphon coffee makers or a self-proclaimed veteran, one thing's clear, these kitchen gadgets look peculiar. Hi, welcome to JR Coffee. Today, we're delving into the world of siphon coffee brewers. Timestamps are in the description if you wanted to jump straight into the brewing tutorial. At first glance, a vacuum coffee maker is reminiscent of something straight from a chemistry lab. It takes the science of coffee making to a whole new level. This odd look might deter most curious coffee enthusiasts who may assume that this contraption is just too complicated and that's understandable. Siphon coffee makers have been all the rage recently but they're not as new to the coffee industry as you might assume. If anything, the awesome brewing machines have only just been rediscovered. According to historical records, the siphon coffee brewer was invented in the early 19th century by a gentleman known as Loof of Berlin. While the brewing machine was his brainchild, its popularity is credited to a French woman popularly known as Madame Vazieu. She commercialized her product and redesigned the original model into the double balloon that characterizes the brew machine today. By the 20th century, siphon coffee makers were a household item in American homes, with companies such as Hario selling their designs in masses. The hype surrounding siphons gradually died off towards the turn of the 21st century as consumers sought more convenient brewing techniques. Fast forward to the current day, siphon coffee makers are clearly making a comeback, with coffee enthusiasts and baristas paying more attention to the age-old craft. As you can tell from the name, siphon or vacuum coffee makers harness the power of atmospheric pressure to produce one of the finest brews. Here is a simplified step-by-step -step guide to what exactly goes on inside a vacuum coffee pot. First things first, the typical design consists of a constant heat source, preferably a butane burner, a filter, a siphon tube, and two glass chambers positioned vertically. You fill the lower chamber with water and the upper chamber with ground coffee. As you heat the apparatus, water in the lower chamber boils into vapor, hence increasing pressure. Past the boiling point, the pressure inside the lower vessel exceeds the atmospheric pressure and this forces the water up the siphon tube into the upper chamber, which contains the ground coffee. Once the coffee is brewed successfully, the heat source is removed and the water in the upper chamber drops due to gravity and a reversal of pressure between the two chambers, causing a partial vacuum. As the liquid is forced back into the lower chamber, it passes through a filter or a strainer, ending the brew. In short, you're combining filter brewing and full immersion brewing using one ingenious apparatus. So why choose a vacuum coffee maker? When it comes to brewing your favorite cup of joe, you have several options at your disposal. French press, percolator, AeroPress drip, and so on. So why should you go out of your way to buy an ancient, odd looking siphon coffee maker? Well, some advantages of a siphon coffee maker Full immersion of the grounded coffee facilitates the extraction of all flavor from the coffee. So if you're a stand for a single origin coffee with complex tasting notes and flavor profiles, a siphon coffee maker will make the best of your grounds. And street cred. If you want to thoroughly impress your fellow coffee enthusiasts, grace your dining room with one of these devices. It has that dramatic and exciting look that is sure to get people talking for weeks. Vacuum coffee makers are highly admired for their even consistency, which is achieved by heating water throughout the brewing process. Siphon coffee makers make awesome coffee. We're talking about smooth and pure liquid with minimal residue. But some disadvantages of siphon coffee makers. Cleaning a siphon coffee maker is pretty intensive and requires a lot of care. Vacuum coffee makers are rather delicate and you might find challenges in storing them appropriately. It requires constant monitoring, and though might this be seen as an advantage, considering you get full control of the brewing process, some of the special parts might be costly and hard to find. So if you want more information about what to look for when buying a siphon brewer, 
Check out our guide, which is in the description below. Okay, so now let's get on with brewing with the siphon coffee maker. And here's how we do it. So, first, requirements. Your favourite medium ground coffee. A siphon coffee maker. A stir stick, wooden or plastic. Just make sure it's not metal. A scale, if you want to measure out your coffee. And of course, water. If you're using a cloth filter, start by soaking it in warm water for a few minutes. This allows the filter to expand in order to completely cover the opening of the siphon. Use your scale to measure out the coffee grounds depending on your preferred profile. We're going to use three scoops for three cups of coffee. Grind your coffee with a burr grinder. Now we're going to get the filter here and we're going to attach it to the top portion of the brewer. So you want to gently place the filter over the siphon, like so. Drop it through and you want to pull this chain down and it'll attach at the bottom. For now, I'm going to turn this upside down and just leave it off to the side here. We're going to set up our burner. My one I'm using here just uses methylated spirits, which I've already loaded up and use a lighter. Now, when you're working with an open flame, please make sure that you take safety precautions. I've got myself a fire extinguisher at the ready. Next, we're going to pour water into the bottom chamber and start the heating process. So we found that it's better to use hot water, but not boiling, as it speeds up the process greatly. But this is not entirely necessary if you don't have access to hot water at this time. Okay, now we're going to place the flame underneath the water. I'm going to let that heat up for a little bit. This is exactly why we use hot water. If we did this with cold water, we'd have to sit here waiting for this to heat the water up till it gets to boiling point, which could take a while. Um, so this is super handy if you're out camping maybe, or you don't have access to hot water. This is a way that you can heat up your water. Otherwise, if you're at home or at your cafe or anything like that, just use water that's already been warmed up. Okay, so once the water gets close to boiling point, place and seal the upper chamber on top of the lower chamber. And the water should kick up. And as the water continues to boil, the building pressure will force it into the upper chamber, which is a process commonly referred to as the kick up. There we go. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to take our coffee and we're going to pour it in. I'm going to quickly stir the grounds using our stirring stick. Great, there we go. So now we're going to remove the heat. Make sure to use appropriate tools to turn it off. So shut off the heat source after the water has been pushed into the upper chamber and allow the coffee to steep. So the steep time often varies from one manufacturer to another. Break the seal and allow the liquids to gradually filter back down into the bottom chamber, which is also known as the kick down. And perfect, there we go. All of the coffee has now been drained. Do be careful, the apparatus is still hot. But you should now be able to remove the top chamber. Okay, some people like to pour their coffee into a carafe for serving. I, on the other hand, just like to serve it straight from the brewer. And the final step, of course, is go ahead and enjoy your brew.
We understand that brewing a standout cup of joe is both a science and an art. And a siphon coffee maker gives you just that. If you're a barista or an enthusiastic coffee aficionado, this peculiar brewing apparatus is definitely worth a try. Although brewing coffee with a siphon coffee maker is not as straightforward as with other brewing techniques, the reward is definitely worth the effort. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more content like this one.